and welcome to this latest in a series of video tutorials where we have been looking at creating a simple May style game in stencil and so this is what we've got so far we've got our simple maze like levels not really a maze but never mind we've got a player that can move you know how he can collect the key cards and he's got to avoid the robot guard now where, where we want this to go is we want it to be able to add a score when we pick up each one of these key cards and also to count how many there are left so that when all of them have been collected in the level an exit will appear and the player can escape and that's quite a lot to do in one video so we're going to focus on adding a score in this one so we're going to stay notice we're in our scene our level one scene and we're going to go to events because this is where we need to start and we need to look at something called game attributes in our need to look at something called game attributes in our uh, stencil game because game attributes are what we know as variables or what you might have heard of as variables in other situations like in Scratch or Python or, or any other programming you've done. So basically a variable is a store of data and in a game we come across variables such as score, lives, health, ammunition, things like that. So it's a value in a game that can change throughout the game basically in simple terms and in stencil these are called game attributes so my first job really is to set up a score game attribute that I can use in my game so I'm going to go to events because you can add an event to a level we're going to add it to level one because level one is the first thing that appears in our game so this is what will happen at the start so I'm going to go add event basics when creating and then so this means when the level is created this will happen uh, I'm going to go to game attributes tab and you can see actually you may already see that I've created an attribute game attribute called score already and I can do two things with game attributes I can set them to a specific value or I can change their value and, and, and display them so I can either get their value from somewhere and look at it or I can set it to a particular value. Now I want to set it to a value. I want to set score to zero. So I just drag that across there and I go to uh, zero and enter that. Now you won't have a score variable that's set up ready for you to use already. So you would need to go create new game attribute. Let's try that again. Create new game attribute. Give it a name. Uh, you can choose a category if you set one up, but don't worry about adding categories and then probably you're going to be working really either with number or text obviously scores a number and its initial value is going to be zero so I've already done that but that's what you need to do so score number zero right so that successfully creates my score so that's a good start but I need to know the player needs to know what the score is so I'm going to add another event in basics which will display the score on the screen so I'm using when drawing so what this will do is it will add um, some text to the screen containing a label so something that says the word score and also something that includes the value of score so I'm going to go drawing draw text drop that into there and then I'm going to write the word score and then you need to choose where you're going to display that on the screen now I'm going to put it in these coordinates x10 and y5 and if you're wondering what I'm talking about go to scene you'll notice that the x and y coordinates are given at the bottom so wherever I move my mouse rep on the level represents where those coordinates are so you need to plan where you want your score to appear so go back to events I'm going to put it about there it may be different for you um, and then I'm going to add another text event underneath there so I actually need it this time to put the word to actually put my game attribute of score in there so I can do that two ways I can put I can do it by putting a number game attributes and score and that now filled that with there or what I could have done is I could have just gone game attributes getters and then just dragged that in so either of those methods works fine and I need to put that not quite at the same place 
but close by so I'm going to put that at 100 and then I'm going to put that at 5 and at this point we're going to pause the video so that we can see what that looks like on the screen after I've compiled the game okay so our game is just finishing compiling and here it is and you can see just at the top left it's a bit hard to see score and zero so obviously what you need to think about is the color that you're going to use uh, and the color of your background you need it to be clearly visible but at least I've actually got the score information displayed and my next job is to actually add a score when or add to the score I should say when the player collects an object so to do that I'm going to go back to some code that I've already written so I'm going to go back to my key card uh, object and on here you see we'd added an event haven't we, where we, we, we determined whether the player had collided with the key card and if so the key card would disappear now we need to add another little tiny bit of, bit of code to this because obviously we want something else to happen every time the actor hits a key the, the key card is collected by player not only do we want the key card to disappear but we're going to add 100 so we're going to see how that works now I'm going to go to game attributes and this time I'm going to click setters because what I want to do is use set again so I'm going to go set score and I don't want to set it to a, a specific value I need to increase the value that it already has so I don't want to set it to 100 I want it to add 100 to the value of score so what I need to do is go to my um, numbers and text options and you can see in here this allows me to work with numbers in stencil and there's an arithmetic section and in there I've got plus so I'm going to use the plus box and put, drag that over to there so I want to do set score to and then I've got options of what I want to put in each box so obviously what I want to do is I want to set score to whatever score is plus another hundred so let's see how we do that go back to game attributes getters so put score in there so set score to score plus and then I'm saying hundred but you could go for more or for less depends on what you want to do how generous you are obviously that's part of the design process don't make don't put stupidly big scores on all stupidly small scores I guess so now we've changed the code so that every time we collect the coin or the key card in this case it should add a hundred so again we'll compile the game and hopefully see that working okay so our game is just finishing compiling so we should be able to see what happens when we collect the key card and you need to look at the top left which is where the score uh, game attribute is represented on screen because that's going to show us whether it's worked what we should see is that that increases by 100 each time we've collected a key card so we'll just wait for the game to finish here it is so and you can see it has worked I've collected three key cards and each time it's added 100 to the score so now I'm starting to be even closer to having a proper working game so that's it for for score in our next video we're going to finish our game off by having it count the number of key cards remaining, providing an exit for the player and allowing them to win the game.